sponsored by NordVPN. Over the past three months, we've been working on our biggest project ever. A giant diorama based off the biggest Warhammer model that Games Workshop sell. No, not that one. That one. The Tau Manta. And this week, we're making a hidden diorama inside of the diorama. If you spin the entire thing around on the back, we're gonna make a long forgotten tomb world, hiding in the back of the entire thing. But to bring you up to speed. So we're telling the story of a crashed manta on an abandoned planet. Or at least that's what our single surviving fire warrior thinks. He's made his own camp using spare parts from the manta and a since long left space marine rhino. And we're capturing him in a moment where he's fishing from the big lake at the center of the diorama. He's completely unaware of the multiple enemy layers lying dormant underneath the mountain. Like the first one that we finished this alien underground cave where some alien eggs are growing using the powers of a dead space marine or on the other side where we have a gene stealer cult's lab experimenting on some of his dead friends so far we spent about 350 hours on the entire thing planning sketching out building sculpting mountains building the miniature that's damn near impossible to build i don't know how like everything could be too small so we had to sand every single part and we've also nearly finished the two mini dioramas on the side. On top of that, we also sawed apart the manta once we finally built it and made it so that the wing look crashed. But now, let's start with this week's project. And stick around to the end of the video to see us break the law. The idea is to take this tiny cave on the back, we're gonna make it larger and then make a hidden tomb world. And if you don't know what a tomb world is, about 60 million years ago, the Necrons decided to hibernate on this planet, doing so underneath this mountain. So it seems to be a now lonely planet is actually packed with different species hiding underneath the mountains. Because this was 60 million years ago, all of the stuff will be overgrown, it will be packed with algae, maybe some fish swimming around there, but there's still some remnants left that you can spot if you look into the cave. But now I'm so excited, I can't wait to get started. So I've generally opened up the cave a little bit more. Now I'm bringing in the big sledgehammer, the heat gun. So the heat gun was amazing. The entry hole is now five times as big. I should have started with that because that would have saved me a lot of time. Now I want to add the Necron stuff at the back or make the Necron stuff. But to do that, I kind of have to break the law. But to start breaking the law, we're gonna need the minis. Thank you. So what we want to do in the back there is to create an old tomb world and we're gonna use these parts here because they look really cool and cast them with silicon and then with a clear green resin. When that is done we're gonna paint it and then leave the center parts glowing green with LEDs. It's gonna be amazing. So Lucas is gonna start mixing some silicon and I am going to cut these up and prepare them for the casting. As much as we like to joke about that Games Workshop is gonna sue us, they were actually the ones who sent us the Necron box, knowing what we were gonna do with it. I guess they're okay with it. But this is not something you should do at home, both because it's ridiculously expensive with silicon, also it's illegal to copy someone else's IP. So just stick to buying the minis from GW. And while the silicon gets 24 hours to cure properly, I've got something I want to share. Imagine you're a Necron overlord. I'm a Necron. Shut up, Necron. Trying to look up what other people do online, stealing their passwords and looking at their data. That makes you a bad Necron. I'm sorry. Damn right. You should leave other people's computers alone. Steve gets all sad when you do that. And now all of a sudden, Steve is forced to get NordVPN. These times, if you want your privacy, you should consider doing like Steve. NordVPN offers double encryption, making sure you can keep your surfing safe. Maybe you're in a country where the Necron Overlord censors which websites you can visit. I'm a Necron. I told you to shut up, Necron. If that's the case, you can use one of NordVPN's 5,300 servers in over 60 countries to bypass 
whatever region lock your Necron Overlord has imposed. And on six units simultaneously. And right now, if you want to ditch this dude, NordVPN offers a two year plan plus one free month and a birthday gift. I don't even know what that means, but they told me to say it. On a serious note though, if you find that you don't need it, they have a 30 days money back guarantee, which make the purchase, which I think is reasonable, even more safe. Just visit nordvpn.com slash squidmore. Oh god, it's been 24 hours already. Let's go pick up the silicon. So it's been a day. We have uh, one that looks good and the other one tipped over like Titanic. But we might be able to salvage it. I'm just gonna open it up and then we're gonna do a pour and uh, hopefully we get some stuff that we can work on. This is looking pretty freaking awesome. So I'm excited about adding resin to this. We're gonna make it green. It's gonna be awesome. It's done. Let's remove all the bubbles and then pour the cast. So with the pour's done, it's the pressure pot. And while we do that, we're gonna continue building the back of the run. Doesn't have to be pretty to work. It's in there. Now let's bring out the modeling compound. So we got the green cast of the Necron things done and they look freaking amazing. So I'm gonna add liquid mask to all of the cracks and crevices where the light is gonna shine through and then paint it. So let's do this. Just like with on the Necron bits, I'm gonna cover up the lights in here. So I'm gonna use liquid mask again, so I easily can just spray with an airbrush inside this entire thing. So we got the masking fluid removed, which means that it's kind of clear where the cracks are and stuff. So now we're gonna just glue it in place here and we're gonna add some coconut fiber and the roots and stuff so it starts looking like a Necron cave. It's gonna be dark in here, but at least you're gonna have like a little bit of a greenish glow. So that's gonna be nice. <laughs> We've uh, glued uh, some parts in place. Now let's put some coconut fiber. And now some sealant because otherwise it's gonna start moving around when we get resin in there. Geek gaming, thanks. Since this cave is gonna be part of the big lake, of course there need to be some fish swimming around and what better way to get some fish than just to grab some Edenet deepkin that we have laying around and then just paint them up awesome looking. Hey, 
Emil, Emil. I finished the menta. <laughs> you idiot. <laughs> so I think we're done. It's probably time for a grand reveal. Let me thank all of the awesome patrons that pay my salary every month. Without you guys, this channel would not be able to exist. Your support means the world to us. So thanks everyone for just pledging a dollar or two. Also, don't forget to subscribe because we need to pass Games Workshop's official Warhammer channel in subscribers. We're almost there. Just make sure you're subscribed. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye bye.